functions that was required, I made this. This is sort of going a, a little more broad, but also a little more specific. So it's some general ideas that I made at one point. And I'm going to expand on all of these points, so no need to really look too closely at them. So how did I spend the last five months? Obviously, I didn't spend the last five months doing a genius hour. I did a ton of other stuff, but for simplicity, let's say I did genius hour. So first off, I chose a topic, which was um, really quick. The topic is the psychology behind the addiction and why uh, of TV shows and why people continue to binge watch and rewatch all that stuff. I did some research about the topic. I shared the topic. I did some more research. I did some more sharing, and then. I'm at this stage now where I compiled all my information and I presented it. I have to talk faster. Wait, what did I look at? So the main thing that I looked at, so these are the main things that I looked at. The first thing is the actual content of the show. So the three parts that I divided up were pretty simple. The intro, the beginnings, and the middles. Uh, so the intros, the beginnings, and the opening, and then as well as the middles and the endings. I also looked at, um, the outside of the episode, which, um, which I will get to in just a second. So let's start with the intro from the beginning. So there's two parts of this, just beware. So there are a few techniques used. There's tons of techniques used. There's so many different shows that use their own different techniques and their own ways of doing it. So there's a few of them. Cold Open is one of them, which I will show you if I have time. I think I'll just play it. Um, and cold opens uh, basically are something that happens, um, I think I'm, I'll get to that later. Um, so also a reminder of past episodes and then also an introduction of aspect So I'll go through these later. So cold opens, they don't necessarily have to relate to the show as you'll see from these intros. So the cold open could be completely different from the show. So for example in the office, one time they had this like music video that they did or they did like a parkour scene at the very beginning of the episode. And they never mention that throughout the, throughout the rest of the show. So if there's like an internet trend like planking, I don't know what that is, maybe that's before my time. But, um, but, uh, but um, so they did that, where people, and that would happen at the beginning of the episode. Another thing, you may hear like previously on whatever, that's, where, that's what happened at the beginning of the episode. And it'll uh, bring these memories back to the people of what happened. And also introduction to aspects of the show. Right? If they want you to, to, to like their show, if they slowly introduce everything, it may take you a while and you're like, why do I want to waste my time doing that? So what shows you? So pretty much all shows use some aspect of these beginning techniques because a show has to start and then sometimes they will just go straight into it. Right? Um, so uh, they don't have to uh, be an aspect of addiction like I said. So, of course, it helps in shows that want addiction to be able to show these things because it's, it, it's a, such a small but crucial part of the show. Um, and uh, it also can remind them of relevant information, which is something, which is something that is, the, when you're not looking at sort of comedic things, oftentimes you're looking at relevant information to the show. Now, of course, some, play, some shows do not use these forms of opening. They sort of just go straight into the show, whether it's uh, no past forms of information, um, or uh, there's, um, it's less entertainment and more informational. So the content is more for information. So here's the video. Um, I think it stops right there. Uh, I don't know. Are you swallowing them whole? You're eating them so fast are they even touching your tongue? Oh, it's yeah, that. <laughs> Pastry cubes made of sugar and fat, and I thank you, I'll stick with my jerky. So why'd you hold you? To socialize and inform. Ooh, brownies! I take the two so I can parcel them up and eat them at my leisure later on. Much healthier. You take the two? Yeah, I but one of them is for Timmy. Yeah. Why don't you send that to him because you can it? Um, so basically, Toby is this uh, human resources guy, if you haven't uh, seen the show, who might know who's that guy in the suit, the main character, who's the office manager, and he hates Toby because he's in human resources. And Toby was going on like a vacation for a few months to Costa Rica, and he came back, and you'll see. I'm right now. Okay. Weird, huh? Why is that? Why is that weird? She said she's going to give it to him right now. <laughs> she's probably going to. 
sit next to each other. Yeah, they used to. Toby, what's your guy? Oh, can you imagine? Oh, no. Uh, you don't know. I don't know. What? Well, you should probably just meander back there. Take a look. See if he's, mm -hmm. if he's back. Dare I? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to. For old time's sake.
When you have a show, there's only so many people who you can have a direct relation to in real life. But when you can access their imaginary parts of their lives, where they, where the characters, they think the characters are a part of their lives, the characters are interacting with them, the characters are, they are a part of the characters' lives, and they also live in the sin. They're a part of that show and in living with those people. So now, broad topics, there's rapid fire scenes, and rapid fire scenes are sort of scenes that are bouncing, boom, boom, boom. They are, uh, people have trouble looking away, right? Because if you can keep them looking, they'll have trouble looking away. Um, and then the shows, uh, they move quickly in these. Um, they jump from scene to scene, right? They're moving back and forth. Um, so it's, it keeps like the, the attention. You look, whoa, what's happening, what's happening? They're going so fast. Another thing, a Princeton study, uh, a Princeton University study showed that a controlling director causes the viewer to be more engaged. So that's why controlling director is important. Now, a broad topic, knowledgeable writers, so you need to know the audience, you need to know the actors, and you need to, the, uh, the writers need to know the audience, actors, and what the viewers want, because if they're giving what the viewers want, that's good. And just to summarize what I learned, I improved my skills in research, presentation, and public speaking from this year, from the, um, from the updates, from researching the stuff, all that stuff. I learned how long it makes TV shows, like The Office, so addicting. Not so different things, not necessarily TV shows. So, including the intros, the beginnings, the openings, the middles, the endings, and outside of the episode, and I am no longer a zoo tiger. Woo! Here's my bibliography. I hope you learned something new. Welcome to the jungle. Thank you. Oh.